Okay, uh, this morning we're at the Melbourne Working Wood Show and I had a few questions yesterday about setting up the A55 planes, so I thought we'd do a short YouTube video. Um, we do two sizes in the A55 and sometimes we'll also make a jack plane which is in between these sizes if uh, people want that adjusted fitted to a jack plane. <coughs> In essence, uh, these planes are very similar to um, any uh, tote handled plane. A uh, few little things with setting this plane up. First of all, to take the blade out, you simply undo the knob on the wedge, remove it. The blade slips over a pin in the adjuster. So you've had your blade out and resharpened it. Um, to reset the plane up, Simply put the blade in, ensuring you don't bang the blade against any grass bits. Slide the blade over the uh, bottom hole. You will only need the top hole if your once your blade is worn down a lot. Now the wedge, it has a brass uh, backing it's for strength. The key here with setting the wedge, make sure the bolt isn't through put it in position and make sure that it is down the bottom of the uh, uh, throat as far as it goes. If you try to put it in uh, with the bolt through, say it's like that with the bolt coming through, and try to put it in, you won't be able to get the wedge far enough down. So ensure that that bolt is back with your finger and, or two thumbs, push the wedge completely to the bottom, then just lightly do it up. Don't, no pressure on the wedge at this stage. So it's basically sitting there. I will then turn the plane over and sight down the sole. I will advance the blade, which is a clockwise direction, till I get a clear view of the blade so I can do my lateral adjustment. The lateral adjustment is simply by moving your adjust the knob to the left or right. If you run out of lateral adjustment, that means that your blade, if you've lost your lateral adjustment, that means your blade is not square to the sides. So just be careful when you're sharpening your blade, make sure you get the edge square to the side. So it's in position. I've done my lateral adjustment there. Now I'll just wind it back to get a nice, what I think is a nice fine setting. Now at this stage, make sure the wedge is right down as before and lock that nut off. We'll give it a test. It's for you know, rough, roughing work or where you want to take it a reasonable amount of wood off, that's probably a nice setting. But for a fine adjustment, you can either go back and sight down the sole, or another simple way is just to sit it on the wood, you know the blade is cutting squarely, release this knob by a quarter of a turn, and back the blade off. One tenth of a turn in this knob will retract the blade by one thousandth of an inch. So we'll give it another try at that, so lock that the wedge knob off again, and then we're starting to get into a, what I'd call a finishing shaving. We could probably go a little bit fine here. Let's do a few passes. That's pretty Hello, nice, mate. but let's go one step further. I'm just watching Undo the, the knob and retract it another tenth of a turn. And we're getting into wispy fine shaving. And that's your perfect finishing shaving. Wow. If we want to go slightly deeper, so we want to go back to a coarser cut during the job, as I said before, quarter of a turn to release this the wedge, then take your backlash out, it's usually only about a quarter of a turn of backlash and then advance your blade.
It's only gone a little bit, so we'll just go one more setting. And that's simply how you set up the A55. Just a couple of pointers. If your plane's not performing perfectly well, you know your blade's sharp, but it's not performing well, the one thing most likely that it will be is your sole has gone slightly out of level. And we're talking less than thousands of an inch, but the sole has to be very, very flat to get a good, fine shaving. So to do that, I retract my blade, but leaving the blade in to keep the body under tension, now I can level that sole. This is just a piece of float glass, uh, 10 mil thick, 180 grit sandpaper, now make sure it's sitting on a flat surface, this bench top has been playing flat and all I do is rub my plane on that and you can see the high spots and low spots. Now I'm not concerned about any low spot in a corner, all I need is some sort of oval shape here that is flat. There's a little bit of a low spot there so we'll take a little bit more off. And you can see there now we've got that flat oval area. And that's all you need to do to level the sole of the plane, be it wood or metal. Um, and then to set it up, wind your blade down. I can see my blade nicely there, laterally adjusted, lock my wedge off. Now once you've levelled the sole, if I had linseed oil here, I'd put a little bit of linseed oil or tongue oil on the sole, but a little bit of wax also, it just helps to get the, the sole started with it. That's a nice deep cut, It'll go a bit finer than that. So back one knob off, quarter of a turn, bring the blade back a little bit. Try right, that, lock the nut off. So my lateral adjustment just needs to be tweaked a bit. So back the knob off a little bit, bring that blade around. It's high on the left hand side, so just tweak it a little bit to the other side. And if necessary, a little tap with a mallet is a very a good way of a very fine tap. Gone too far with the lateral adjustment, just a tiny tap here now. Now we're getting into an even, very fine, even shape. It's really important that you set your blade up correctly. No plane will function well to get a good surface finish unless your blade is sitting nice and even in the plane. Nice fine set to suit the wood. For harder timbers, usually you'll have to have a finer set, but you have to judge it on every time you do a planing job. Take a shaving. If you have to force the plane to make a cut, then you need to reduce your depth of cut and also look at your lateral adjustment. Try on one side, the plane will be difficult to control. So there's a few tips on um, using A55, or really, there's a lot of tips in there for using any